Oh wait. Ah! I grated my finger. But if you hadn't said wait. <laughs> Welcome to Vlogmas. Today we're going to be decorating these oranges. But first, mom's going to grate some fresh nutmeg. And not your finger. And not my finger. Wait, stop. Let me get a video of you doing that for. I'm done. Oh, do it again. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's good. So good. Uh -huh. So here's what we're doing we're making pomanders. Pomanders? Pomanders? Pomand. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Pomanders? No, that doesn't sound right either, but it still doesn't sound right. Medieval herbalists use pomanders, mixtures of fragrant dried herbs in cloth bags or perforated boxes to ward off illness and bring strength and good fortune. Were used in Europe at the time of the Black Death to cover up and purify the bad air. Oh, and that worked well. Look at this beautiful photo. Oh my gosh. There's our inspo. But they look like they peeled something which I don't think we're gonna do. Yeah, it looks like they peeled the design and then filled it in. Yeah. Are we gonna be able to poke through these? So, so essentially what you do is you take these oranges and you poke cloves, whole cloves through and cloves are like weird looking. And you just stab them through and you make a design. And I remember as a kid, we had that container, that half jug container and you had made oh, these yes. one year. And I they remember. were in there for years Forever. and they had they dried dusty. into little black <laughs> balls. That's how old they were. Like they yeah, they completely desiccated into like shriveled up. Like, yeah. Like, but that's what happens, I think. They don't always they don't stay as pretty like orange. That's just when they're first made. Right? right. So let's you select a good one. These were clearly like on sale oranges. They were the best I could find. Do they they won't just poke through, you think? I don't know. It said for babies to not do it. What, what is no, your- they just poke in. What is your design? I'm gonna do the spiral, I like that. A spiral? Mm. Okay, I think I'm gonna try to do a heart. No. This is really hard and it poke. hurts my finger. When did you make these for the first time? Uh, I don't know. Did we make them together or did I just make them? I don't yeah. remember. It was when we were in Groton, so I was in, an infant. Yeah, see, just poke the holes and then yeah, that's in the design and then you like... That's why I gave you the toothpick. Oh man, now I can't see where the holes are because I don't have my glasses on. What is your favorite holiday memory as a child? Hmm. I don't know if it's the favorite me memory, but it's, it's a strong memory that I have. I don't know. So when I was a kid, we used to go up to Canada every Christmas. And when we were little, we didn't know like what day Christmas fell on, obviously, right? So they would just like pick a day and that would be our Christmas at home. And then we would go to Canada and usually that we were there for Christmas day, you know, for all Grammy's family. Mm -hmm. um, I remember we decided to leave early and to, Santa, go, to, to go to Canada. Uh, maybe grandpa got off of work or whatever. And we decided to pick up and go. Only we hadn't had Christmas yet. So, apparently all the presents were in my parents' room, right? Mm -hmm. And so, Santa, they told us that Santa was handing, knew that we had to leave early, and so he was outside and he was handing the presents through the window to Grandpa, and then Grammy was, hand, was bringing them out <laughs> into under the tree while we were there, because it was like daytime and we were gonna leave <laughs> for Canada, yeah. So and they we, just like pulled Christmas like, in five minutes? So they're like, Santa is actually outside right now <laughs> and he's passing the presents through the window to dad and and he's handing them to Grandpa. But you, you gotta keep the door shut because he'll go away if you guys try to peek and see him. So you need to stay right there and then we'll open them all and then we're gonna go to Canada. <laughs> yeah. Imagine that. How old were you? I'm sure I believed it for a while. I don't know, but I, rem I, I really, really strongly, like that's one of my strongest memories as a kid. That's like, I remember when I was young and you had dad dress up as Santa and you videotaped him going through the house because we 
You were starting to not. We were starting to not believe in, well, I was. Clearly, my, sis, my sister believed in Santa and the Easter Bunny <laughs> until she was like 14. And now she hates me. Because <laughs> I <laughs> lied to lied her. To her. <laughs> but I remember you videotaped and you showed us in the morning Santa coming through the whole house. Yeah. And um, Dad was a good actor. Yeah, it was very... And I, and I videoed it. That was when we first got a video camera. Yeah. That was a big deal. I remember that. And so I, tr I tried to just sort of get the tail end of him going around corners. And so yeah. you wouldn't see his body shape or anything. Even yeah. though he was like dressed as... Santa. He had a full on... You know, Dad didn't go halfway on anything. He had the full on Santa suit. No, so do you know how we figured it out? How? We figured it out because later that year... Grandpa was Santa at his church, and he, wore and he had dad's to wear suit. the suit. And he, Dad gave it to Grandpa in a trash bag, and that's how I so found out. No, I wasn't Snoopy. They weren't clever. <laughs> dad was like, "Here's a Santa suit costume. Why else would Dad have a Santa suit costume?" For goodness sake! Oh man, how's yours coming out? Over the, okay, better than mine. Looks like a planet. These clothes really smell good. I really like the smell of clothes, yeah. but it reminds me of um, when I got my wisdom teeth taken out and they stuffed gauze that was soaked in clove oil to ward off the infection. Did you take me to like a hippie dentist? No. Yeah. What so, are you talking about? So she literally the gauze that they extracted my wisdom teeth and they were yeah. like big holes and they filled it with gauze soaked in clove oil and they would leave them in there for days i don't remember that i don't remember a lot of things apparently you'd yeah. think that i really was like either on drugs or drinking and i really wasn't like i don't know i, I was, was really busy yeah <laughs> <laughs> i was really busy this it's not my best work but it's some kind of work honestly they're very sharp my yeah. fingers are red I know too. Oh, you know what I also remember though? I real I re the other Christmas I remember. I must have been like five or like around five ish, and Uncle Tom was probably like two, and all my Christmas presents were homemade because apparently they didn't have a lot of money. But that was the year that Grandpa made me a full on rocking horse. Not a little one like that you get now for like little kids. Like it was, I don't know. It was big. It had a like a leatherette saddle oh that he God. put on there. It, it was white and it had brown spots and like an actual leatherette kind of. I think I've seen pictures you've of seen it. You've seen them, right? That's I, I had so a ponytail, cool. so I must have been like five. He also made busy boxes that year for t Uncle Tom and for me, and they had What's uh, a busy box. It was like a piece of wood. And it was on a stand and he put all kinds of stuff from his from the like um from the basement like his like all this repair stuff so there was like, like a, tools no no there was like um uh a light bulb like with a switch oh not the light bulb part but just like the switch so you could pull the chain and it would click on and off there were a bunch of um it had a light no it didn't have oh, electricity okay. And then it, there were a couple of switches, so you could turn them on and off. Um, and what else? Um, it had like a bunch of stuff. Oh, like a lock, you know, like a door lock. So he had made it so you could open it, like that little piece opened and locked. That's super cool. I mean, it had all kinds of really cool stuff on it that felt like, you know, they were real. He's so crafty. It was very cool. That's amazing. So basically they made everything. Oh, and he made a doghouse. That was so... He made a dog house for me for my very first dog patches. Yes. And it said patches. He cut out all the letters. I mean, that was when you didn't just buy the letters at Michael's or something like. He well, cut he out was... wooden letters and put them on there. Oh wow. Where's the heart? Sorry. It's right there. Oh. <laughs> I thought you just changed the design. No, I did my best. It's no, because when it shrinks down, you'll see it. In a year, I do another one. We're running out of cloves. We'll do an E. My fingers are killing me. Yeah, the cloves are really sharp, honestly. But I guess, according to your dentist, it'll kill any infection. Yeah. What kind of dentist were you bringing me to? 
That's funny. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I don't know. It does seem a little hippie, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with com combining like I like holistic medicine, medicine and a little bit of. I mean, if clove oil, I have to look that up. Is clove oil really like an antiseptic? Hmm. Is clove oil an antiseptic? Benefits for skin healing, antimicrobial and Ooh. antioxidant antimicrobial that's good it doesn't hurt you right so no side effects hopefully i mean just because it's natural doesn't mean it doesn't have side effects but it seems like that would be a good thing okay you're done with this i'm so done with this how is this not hurting your it's hand? killing me but i'm compulsive <laughs> about finishing things and they smell like what oh good lord like cloves and they were... yay <laughs> <laughs> i'm not done i need to finish here, here, there's the heart. Happy Vlogmas. See you tomorrow, maybe. <laughs>